A priest at the Vatican Observatory learns that a comet is about to make landfall. He promptly verifies his suspicions by consulting numerous books and then notifies his superior, who convenes the council to deliberate on the matter. It turns out that the Bible has a prophecy that describes the doomsday signs, which are catastrophes that occur whenever an angel sounds his trumpet. Already five of the seven angels have sounded their trumpets, bringing about events like 9-11s, tsunamis, and wars. Given that the approaching comet is the sixth or the number of the wicked, the Antichrist will be set free upon the comet's landing. Robert, a diplomat, visits the Catholic hospital in Rome in the meantime, because his wife Kate is about to give birth. Father Spoleto, however, has horrible news. Kate miscarried killing the unborn child and her womb is permanently scarred, making it impossible for her to conceive. Fortunately, Spoleto also has a solution. Since Kate doesn't yet know about her child, they could simply swap babies and keep it a secret. A woman passed away giving delivery at the same time as Kate. Robert acknowledges the baby as his own flesh and blood and takes him to visit Kate after accepting. As the years go by, the infant develops into Damien, a happy and healthy youngster. Robert stays on as an officer at the embassy until he is selected one day to be the next deputy ambassador in the UK, which means the family will shortly have to leave Italy. On the way to a meeting, the ambassador is caught in traffic in the interim. A tank truck is rolling towards the roadway at that very moment when a worker unintentionally knocks off a wheel stopper, crashing into the ambassador's vehicle. Additionally, it explodes when a man drops a cigarette, causing petrol to spill all over it. Following this occurrence Robert is appointed as the next ambassador, and the family travels to London with him. There, they are given a big expensive house. When Kate's phone rings two years later, she gets sidetracked while taking Damien to the park. She calls, but no one answers, and after a while, she discovers with great sadness that Damien has vanished. Fortunately, she quickly discovers him concealed behind a tree and chastises him for frightening her. Journalist Keith attends Damien's fifth birthday celebration, which is held a few days later in order to document the occasion. The nanny is helping out when she observes a black dog sitting close by and she instantly feels different. She quickly ascends to the house's roof, says she's doing this for Damien, and then uses a rope to self-delete. As Robert hurries to pick up Damien in an attempt to shield him from the scene, everyone begins to worry. Keith records the event with photos. Damien gestures at the dog and doesn't appear to be bothered. Reporters quickly begin to follow Robert around after the incident makes headlines, but he declines to comment. In his attempt to stay away from them, he unintentionally later Robert is visited by Father Brennan, who informs him that Damien is the Antichrist and that he was present during the birth and that he is aware that Damien's true mother was a jackal. Robert orders security to remove the man because he believes him to be insane. Keith sees Brennan as he exits the building and snaps additional photos of him. Robert and Kate interview Mrs. Baylock later at home. They are so pleased by her background that they decide to recruit her as their new nanny. Baylock informs Damien she is there to keep him safe when they first meet. While working through all of the photos, he shot, Keith discovers an odd line above Brennan's head that shows up in each one. Kate asked Baylock to bring Damien to the former nanny's funeral the following day, which the family must attend. Kate doesn't trust Baylock when he says Damien isn't feeling well and shouldn't go, so she makes him get in the car. When Damien sees the crucifixes on the nearby buildings on the walk to the church, he begins to appear ill. He then acts out of control, hurling a fit and beating his mother. Before Robert can restrain the youngster and order the driver to bring them back, Kate is hurt. Robert tends to Kate's wound at home, while she points out that Damien became ill unexpectedly, having never fallen ill before and that this cannot be normal. After that after taking a bath, Kate becomes alarmed as her wrist begins to bleed. Then she spots Damien standing in front of the tub, carrying a rope and wearing a mask that eventually reveals his eerie fangs. When Kate awakens, she discovers it was a nightmare. When Robert checks on his son in the interim, he is startled to see a dog snarling at him. Baylock enters the room right away and soothes the dog, telling him that she and Damien discovered it wandering around the garden. Damien chose to adopt it, since he thought it was so great. Enraged, Robert reminds her that he has the last say over whether a pet is brought into the house and gives Baylock the order to get rid of the dog. The following day, Damien's class takes a field trip to the zoo accompanied by Kate and other mothers. When Damien looks at the monkeys, he can see that they are afraid of him. When Kate realizes this and tries to help him, Damien refuses to stop staring at them. Suddenly, a gorilla begins beating on the glass, seemingly in an attempt to get the youngster to attack it. Every animal roars and everyone flees in fear. But Damien maintains a neutral expression. Kate eventually breaks down and tells Robert there's something strange about Damien when they get home. She also determines she requires counseling. Kate is terrified when she sees a monster in the mirror with her that night, as she brushes her teeth before going to bed, but it's just another nightmare. When she comes downstairs, she sees Damien in the kitchen preparing a sandwich. However, he ignores her inquiries and simply heads to his room. Keith keeps looking at the photos in the interim and discovers more odd light marks. Robert is later accosted by Brennan at a church event, claiming that Kate is in danger and providing a meeting time and location. Additionally, he adds that will be their final meeting. Following Brennan's departure, Keith snaps additional photos of him, 
Robert soon encounters Brennan, who advises him to go for a man named Bugenhagen, as he is the only one who has the knowledge necessary to kill the Antichrist. Brennan maintains that Damien is the devil's child and that he will kill Kate, who Brennan says is expecting, if they don't take action. It appears that Spoleto lied to Robert in order for him to accept Damien, indicating that the hospital priests were behind all of this from the beginning. Robert, however, continues to believe Brennan is insane and leaves. Brennan then dashes to the closest church as the storm intensifies and he begins to hear strange noises. He needs needs to climb over the closed front gate, but the door is also locked when he gets there. Brennan is fatally impaled by a falling post from the roof as he bangs on the door in desperation for assistance. Robert returns home in the meantime, and to his surprise, Kate confirms that she is pregnant. Despite this she wants to get rid of the pregnancy since she doesn't want to have another child like Damien. Robert finds out that Brennan passed away the next day. Robert then visits Kate's therapist, who informs Robert that Kate is experiencing hallucinations in which her son is both evil and not really hers. While Kate is sitting in a chair watering the plants. Damien chooses to ride his scooter after seeing Baylock give him a nod of approval. Kate is about to be pushed off the balcony by Damien, who is riding directly behind her, but she just barely makes it over the edge. When she asks Damien for assistance, the child just watches her mother fall to the ground without saying anything. Robert arrives at the hospital a little while later and finds out that Kate survived, but she lost her baby. Kate begs him not to let Damien kill her as he checks on her. Robert returns home later to find the dog is still there, but before he can evict it, Keith calls to tell tell him they must meet immediately. When Robert visits Keith's studio, he is astounded to discover that the photos Keith took of Brennan and the nanny contain a white light that foretells their demise. Keith has also obtained Brennan's autopsy report and discovered that the priest has a birthmark on his thigh that resembles the number 666. Robert is then escorted by Keith to Brennan's underground lair, where they see crucifixes and Bible pages adorning every wall. After going through Brennan's belongings, Keith already found that he was fixated with a comet that collided with Earth on June 6, 2005. Damien was born at at 6 in the morning on that same day, making his birthday 666. Keith appeared in a mirror as he was snapping photos of the space, and the image showed him with a white light around his neck as well, suggesting that he is worried about passing away soon. Robert consents to look into Damien's real family history, and travels to Rome with Keith to speak with the medical personnel who were there the day Damien was born. When they learn that the hospital burned down after Robert's family left, they are outraged, but they also find a nun who was able to escape the fire and is now clearly burned. They get enough information from the nun to locate Spoleto. When the two stop for lunch on their way to another church, Keith shares the Bible text that talks about the birth of the Antichrist. Keith believes it's a political allegory that the devil's child desires human dominance and that Robert was specifically picked because of his standing. It's possible that Damien even killed the last ambassador. They eventually cross a lake and arrive at a rural church where they meet Spoleto, who has a burned face. He is mute and ambulatory but he writes the name of an ancient cemetery north of Rome, in response to Robert's inquiry regarding Damien's biological mother. The gate is locked when Robert and Keith arrive at the cemetery, so they have to climb a wall to get inside covertly. They search the graves and discover two that belong to a mother and kid on the correct date, they consequently open the woman's first. Just as Brennan had predicted, they discover a jackal's skeleton. When the child's burial is opened later, Robert is horrified to discover that his child was intentionally slain in order to set everything up. The baby's skull also has a hole in it. Two dogs suddenly materialize out of nowhere and attack the guys. They struggle with the beasts and sustain injuries in the process. Following a protracted conflict, Robert uses a tool to shove one dog away, before attacking and striking down another with a grave cross. The lads manage to get away by jumping over a fence just in time to see the dogs chasing them again. Damien and Baylock attempt to see Kate in the hospital in the interim. When the nurse tries to inform them that it's not permitted, Baylock persuades her to let her switch out the flowers at the very least. Damien remains in the hallway, staring at the guard, who is becoming more agitated by the moment as Baylock enters. Within the space, Baylock covers Kate's mouth to prevent her from asking for assistance and puts an air bubble in her ivy. Before long, Kate begins experiencing an air embolism, and when Kate's attack sets off the warning, Baylock switches off the machine. Following a brief period of agony, Kate passes away, and Baylock and Damien walk away as though nothing had occurred. Robert gets a call at the hotel at some point in the future, informing him of Kate's passing. That evening, he had a terrifying dream in which a priest tosses his stillborn child off a balcony, a red-hooded monster stalks him, and an evil Damien stares at him. Robert informs Keith that he has come to terms with Damien's terrible nature, and that he intends to exact revenge on his wife. The two set out to find Bugenhagen the only man who has the knowledge to slay the Antichrist by traveling all the way to Israel. In addition to teaching them a prayer that must be said during the rite, Bugenhagen offers them a unique set of blades to kill Damien with. Furthermore, he clarifies that Damien ought to have a birthmark with the number 666, and that Balak is an apostle of hell. Robert begins to second-guess himself because, in the past, he had bathed Damien and had never noticed any marks. When Bugenhagen suggests that it might be hidden by hair, Robert becomes uncomfortable at the thought of murdering his own kid. 
and walks away. In a desperate attempt to escape the picture omen, Keith takes knives to murder Damien. However, as he escapes, a sign that falls from a building quickly kills Damien. When Robert realizes this, he is forced to face reality and returns home with the knives. Robert has a plan as he gets back to his residence and picks up a pair of scissors. The storm at that precise moment causes a door to shut, waking the dog, who then starts running after Robert. He sprints as quickly as he can to get to a hatch, where he tricks the dog into falling in so he can shut it. Robert then goes upstairs and trims Damien's hair while he is asleep, in order to eventually find the 666 birthmark. They engage in combat when Baylock suddenly strikes him, and Robert eventually knocks her out by hitting her against the wall. Then, as he kicks a clutching Baylock and leaves, he picks up a screaming Damien. When they get to the automobile, Robert hits her with the vehicle and continues driving at a high speed, which prompts other police officers to start pursuing them. Baylock smashes the windshield and tries to block the road. After some time, Robert locates a church and leads Damien inside. Once inside, he places the youngster before the altar and prepares to stab him as he says the appropriate prayer. Damien begs his father not to at that very moment and Robert falters, allowing the police the opportunity to enter and shoot him dead. A funeral for Robert is being held at the same time that the Pope passes away in his chambers. The child gives a mischievous smirk as the US president holds Damien's hand.